What's left of Hurricane Ida's record-breaking downpour in our area forced the area's transit system to practically come to a screeching halt. Cascading water flooding nearly 50 subway stations. Trains got stuck between the stations. You see the bus there. Bus is overwhelmed by rising floodwaters. The transit failures were just part of the problems. Part of the problems facing our elected officials, new governor Kathy Hochul, as well as Mayor de Blasio, CBS 2's political reporter. Marsha Kramer demanding answers from both of them. And why did Ida pack such a punch, Marsha? Well, to use a water metaphor, Kathy Hochul must feel a little like the little Dutch boy forced to put his finger in the dike to save his country. She faced so many problems since taking office last week, she must wonder if she has enough fingers to plug all the holes. But when I put tough questions to her about preparations for Hurricane Ida, she had answers. The waters pouring into the 28th Street subway station last night looked like a mini Niagara Falls. But while the falls might be a familiar sight for Buffalo native Kathy Hochul, she doesn't want to see them in the New York City subway system. The MTA, this is not the first time that the subways have flooded. What can you do going forward so that this doesn't happen again and again and again and again? Here's what we need to do. We need to identify the areas where we have vulnerabilities on our streets, where the drainage systems are not functioning properly, and they're close to the entrance of a subway. And then the water just creates a river down the steps and into the subway system. That's our first priority. She also wondered why, with Ida bearing down on the city, the subways weren't closed earlier. But I want to assess why we don't stop people from new passengers from going down the stairs into them. She was also characteristically frank about whether people should have been alerted earlier to the dangers of the storm. I know I deployed resources yesterday morning, but we did not know that between 8.50 and 9.50 p.m. last night that the heavens would literally open up and bring Niagara Falls level water to the streets of New York. Mayor de Blasio at a press conference attended by Senator Chuck Schumer and a gaggle of local officials blamed it on bad advice from weather experts. We need to start communicating to people that we should assume things are going to be much worse in literally every situation. The press conference was held in Hollis, Queens, where sewers overflowed despite billions invested by the city to fix the problem. Two people in a basement apartment died and other homes suffered damage. Democratic mayoral candidate Eric Adams demanded an investigation of the contractors. You allocated the money, contractors came in, put in a system where the price were too small. That is real incompetence and that's failure on our part. So we need to find out what other contracts this contractor has and immediately put a halt to them. And with a number of people dying when waters flooded their basement apartments, the city's going to face another problem. Two years ago, the mayor signed legislation to allow homeowners to turn basements and cellars into legal apartments. After the experience of Hurricane Ida, some are wondering if that's a good idea. Dana. Oh, my gosh. Marsha, thank you.